This is the day the Lord has made. Let all men rejoice. For some, joy is the whine of a lightweight line, or the whir of a spinning reel. For others, the heft of a favorite plug, and the way the old joints feel. The arm snaps back and forward again. The bait is on its way. Will this be the time the fish takes the line? It's the start of a perfect day. By the looks of things this morning, we've got the makings of a pretty fair day. For an experienced fisherman like John, just being here is the biggest part of the fun. For young Joe, let's get at those fish. It sure is pretty country. You can tell by the number of people on the water, this is an attractive fishing spot. The water's clean and clear. The countryside makes sitting in that fishing hole mighty pleasant. One would hardly believe that just a few years ago, this was a strip pit providing coal for people all over the country. Right now, this pit lake is providing lots of pleasure for people from as far away as Ohio, and as near as the next town. It's good bass and sunfish water in an area where there used to be no lakes at all. Well, it isn't all beer and Skittles. Someone has to work around here. Peabody Coal mined this area's rich coal deposits. They realized that something had to be done to revitalize the land, so with cooperation from the state, they started an experimental reclamation project. It had three stages. First, fill the pits with fresh, pure water. Secondly, plant game food and cover throughout the area. And thirdly, stock the pit lakes with fish. They donated the land to the state of Indiana, and today it is administered by the Indiana Department of Natural Resources. It's interesting how water with fish in it and pine trees draws grandparents and kids.
It's time to get back on the water after that noon lunch and see what the afternoon brings. On the pit lakes in Green Sullivan Forest, gas motors aren't allowed. Any power comes from rowing or small electric motors. It's also time for a good chew. That's part of the power. John's been on these lakes before. He knows where they're lying, and he knows what it takes to get them. I have a feeling we're in for a little lesson. You see, it's this way, Joe. This here is a rod and reel, and this is the bait. Now, to get that fish in this here boat, you got to get that bait into the water right over there. Then you crank that reel. See? That's all there is to it. lakes have character. Big scoops dug out coal and some friendly coves where any fisherman can find the solitude he likes. Planning helped make these coves a reality. Peabody did these. But they remind one of the remote lakes in the northern tier of the U.S. or the bush in Canada. The unbelievable part of this is that just a few miles away, the land is flat and rolling. You know, Joe, if you just pay a little closer attention, you might pick up a tip or two. John's got his fish already. As I was saying, the habitat for bass in these pit lakes is nearly identical to any bass habitat created by the giant glaciers in the natural lakes. It does present some interesting ideas for the future. Well now, folks, Looks like John has had enough of this, and he intends to show his partner some real fishing. You know, he's been pretty polite this morning. He's waited, but appears as if he can't wait any longer. Gotta get some fish into this boat. See what we mean by experience? Nothing like it. Fishing's a lot like a lot of other fine things. You gotta hold your mouth just right.
Lots of work by Peabody biologists and engineers went into developing a process for filling a reclaimed pit lake with water fit for fish life. It sure is pretty water, isn't it? can only take so much of a good thing. Besides, a man needs a little snooze about now. I wonder what the fish think. Once you start catching fish and they're hitting good, it's hard to stop. It's been a pretty fair day and it shapes up to be better tomorrow. For an industry like Peabody, coal and other minerals are important. In turn, restoring the land is important. And they're trying. And they're learning. We have a magnificent opportunity to create lakes and recreational areas for our grandchildren at no more cost than other reclamation forms. The people of the area sort of get their coal and their fish too. That's about it, John. Let's go in. Well, maybe one more. One more sunset. One more fish. One more strip pit lake. 